Hello everyone, my name is Flutterp, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Okay, now I have a little bit of a, a, a pretty dumb announcement. Um, uh, the first episode of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild was actually kind of hit with a copyright strike. Ooh, Ancient Shaft. Um, it wasn't hit with a copyright strike, but it was hit with a copy, uh, copyright notice. Um, which is honestly stupid. Um, uh, I find, uh, it's stupid because, um, lots of uh, YouTubers are, are uploading it. And you don't see any problems with them. Um, now you see, I do, uh, I support the Fair Rights Act, um, so really, uh, YouTube kind of made a mistake because, well, you see, oh wait, I'm supposed to go back and see the little man, aren't I? Yeah, whatever, I'm pretty sure he's up here. No, no, he, he's done that. Anyway, you see, the fair, like, people upload game videos like these. Why? Because, guess what? That's what you're allowed to do. Now, yes, all, all rights belong to Nintendo, and just, yeah, they all belong... All the rights belong to Nintendo. I'm not saying I own. Um, I'm not saying I own the game. Like I didn't. I didn't make it. But they give everyone fair rights to upload it on YouTube. So YouTube, you can't. You made a mistake, and you can't. Uh, can't copyright me for it. So <laughs> fair rights. Okay. Anyway. Back to this. Did you fly here? Oh, ho, ho. so you think an old man like me needs to fly and stay ahead of you? I still have a few tricks left in me. Now then, I wanted you to join me up here so you could use this vantage point to search for shrines. Did you, <coughs> Did you know about the scope on your Shigas light? Look through it and you can stick a pin anywhere you'd like to on the map. Yeah, I already know. I've seen that before. Yeah, this is just going to explain uh, about the pins that you can place. I'll show you in a second. So here, you, you just press... Um, technically, it's R3. Um, so here, you can just zoom in. You can place... If you hit A, you can place the thingy right there. Just so you remember where it is. There's another one up there. Um... Oh look, just tower off in that distance too. Eh, I'll place that one there. And that one's closest. So we're gonna go to that one first, and then we're going to go to that one. We're just gonna go in order. We're gonna go yellow, red, blue. So here we go. Okay. Gonna head down, and in the other ones, we're going to get our other runes. Uh oh. Wow. Oh look, it looks like I'm flying. <laughs> okay, well I'm dead. Uh, I don't know why, but I missed that thing. Anyway. I have to wait. I died again by falling. This is not going so good uh first. <laughs> oh, do I have to go back up there? Yeah, I had to go back up there, talk to him again. Ah! Oh my god. Okay, I already died two times by accident. Uh, the first time was in the previous episode because I completely derped out and remembered that this is a new game and I didn't have the paraglider. And the second one, I missed the jump somehow because Link wanted to be stupid. 
Yada yada yada, let's just go, yeah, yeah. Dooly dooly doo. Dooly dooly doo. I get it. I get it, homie. Okay, we're gonna have to, we're, we're gonna mark these again. Cause I am forgetful. So now we're gonna go red, blue, yellow. There it is. There it is. Boom. Okay, so now we're gonna go red, blue, yellow. Hopefully I don't completely mess up this time. I mean, hey, like, at least we have full hearts. <laughs> right? Right? Eh? No? Okay. I'm stupid. Okay. Let's just keep her going. Just keep on going. And... It look a giant skull made out of a rock. It's skull rock! Ha <laughs> ha! I am not smart at all. <laughs> okay, so in there, um, I don't think there's a chest in there, but I just wanted to say something real fast. Um, in the previous episode, if you watched, um, there were these moblins, and one of the moblins were blue. I forgot to actually say something about this in the previous episode. There are different color variations of the moblins and, uh, moblins and other, boom, and other, oh, see, like that one there? That one's blue. That means he's a lot stronger than the red one. So, just, just don't be afraid of him. He does cause kind of a good amount of damage. Um, so just try to mind him. Oh, and there's the, there's the keys. Those little bat things. Oh, I forgot how to fight. Okay. I, sorry, I'm so used to playing Kingdom Hearts right now. Ah. Uh oh. Ooh, I don't have a weapon. Come on. Um. Alright, axe time. Bam! 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 Yes, yeah, so as you can see. He is a lot tougher. All right, so you, you all right, so you want these key swings? Like you want to collect a lot of monster parts? Oh, one hit KO. Dead. Yeah, that's why you want to like at first you want to avoid a lot of the hard to kill uh, moblins. Um, I forgot how to fight for a minute. Because I, um, just before this, I was actually recording uh, Kingdom Hearts, my second episode. Uh, this is my third video I'm recording uh, today, actually. Whew. Okay. So let's just ignore those guys for now. But. Yeah. There are red moblins, blue moblins, I believe black moblins. And there are white moblins. The white moblins are the hardest to kill. The black moblins are second hardest to kill. Ooh, um, the blue ones are third hardest and just the normal red ones are just easy. Okay, so there's gonna be a little kind of like a troll kind of, so you're like, oh, look at these giant things. They're off, right? Right? Until you get to this bad boy. Now what you really want to do, you don't want to, you don't want to try and kill them. You want to run from them. Because these guys will shoot lasers at you and these lasers hurt. These lasers will one-shot kill you a lot. I'm just going to say that right now. They will one-shot kill you a lot until you have much better armor and a bunch more hearts. Trust me, you will not survive one hit. Honestly, you won't survive one single hit until you have good armor and a bunch of hearts. Okay. So here's our second shrine, the bomb trial. And guess what? We're gonna get our bombs, so we don't have to carry them and go buy them and stuff. 
But there's something weird about these bombs. Why we're getting bombs in our Sheikah slate? Because guess what? There's actually two versions of the bombs. One circle, which rolls, and the other square, which doesn't roll. It'll stay in place. So like if you're on a hill, you place it down, there you go, it'll stay in place. And the bomb won't roll away. <laughs> so I personally like using the square bombs more. Yes, you can have both bombs out at the same time. I don't think they go off at the same time though. Nope. Whichever one you have equipped as your rune, then that one will go off. But yeah, I love the bombs. Bombs are just fun to use. I think there's a chest behind here. Yep, chest. Ooh, Traveler's Claymore. Alright, that's our most powerful weapon right now. Yeah. Anything down there can blow up? <laughs> okay. That that one kind of hurt. Um. Oh, we only have one weapon slot left. One bow slot, two shield slots. Okay. Let's eat my baked apple, and we're gonna have to be stuck with this till we get more food. <sighs> I missed. No, Link. Oh, we have to wait for it to come back around. Hi. Okay. Ooh, I almost missed. If I didn't jump, I would have walked off by accident. <laughs> oh, these are fun. I actually like doing these, though. You have to use a circle, of course, because that's the roll. Boom, maybe. So now you can use that ladder. And what's fun about right here... Um, I don't think you really need to use anything, just... Launch yourself. I'm surprised I didn't cause any damage. Nice, we got Amber. Um, we really don't even need that ball. Um, I think that ball is there just to show us that, hey, we can launch our bombs across. Um, and other things as well. Like we can we can physically launch items across the map, or not really across the map, but across a certain amount of area. But that thing that's flying around right there, that orange thing, that will be um, used uh, later on in the future in a lot of things actually. Okay. I'm actually gonna skip these because. It's literally the same thing every time. It's the same text over and over. May the goddess smile upon you. You get the spirit orb. Yada yada. So really, it's of no use. The, the That cutscene. You can just skip right over it. Also... When I spawn back in here right now, um, you will actually, oh, hey. Yep, you can get a Bokoban arm from the skeletons, from the Bokoban skeletons. Um, and you can use, actually use them. And of course you have to destroy their head. And sometimes their body, if, if there's another head alive. Boop. Okay. Run, boy, run, boy, run. Run, Link. Uh. Okay, so as you can see, there's a purple thing that's moving a lot, and then when I stop moving, it stops moving. That's actually how much sound you're making. So stealth will come in a bunch of help, and you see like a temperature thing, which is calculated in Fahrenheit. I'm not sure if you guys can see that uh, on the screen but there's actually temperature and you have to watch your temperature gauge sometimes. If it gets too hot, if it gets in the red zone, then you can start losing hearts. 
If it gets in the cold zone, you can start losing hearts. <laughs> so yeah, temperature comes now comes into play. Um, it's actually kind of fun because the character customization in this game, um, it's honestly amazing. And we're clocking in about 15 minutes here. Um, it's going to be cutting out on itself in another minute. Then I have to hook it up to my computer, put the video on the computer, yada yada. But, yep, yeah, there's a lot of new mechanics in the game. Uh, especially with the cooking. Cooking can actually help you with temperature changes and clothing, obviously. Uh, but... Hello everyone, my name is Flirterp. We are now up here. We just I just cut to get right up the mountain. Um so there's gonna so there's a thing in the game where if you see a monster sleeping, you gotta crouch and sneak up on it. To crouch is L3, and then you get this thing called a sneak strike. This is like a critical hit, and other enemies around you won't be able to hear the enemy dying. But you must be very, very careful. If you're not, you're gonna get spotted, and they're gonna come after you. If you're too loud as well. So, doing a sneak strike is one of the easiest ways to actually save your weapon capacity, except mine just broke. Um, my Bacobin Cub. Cub. My Bacobin Club, right there, just broke. Um, here's some Baco Spears. I don't really like the Baco Spears, they're literally just sticks. I'm gonna throw that away. <laughs> Okay, so this spicy pepper, you want to get these spicy peppers if you don't have a torch. Um, also, if you don't have a torch, you can just get one from right there. Um, they also have some food here. I'm going to take this. Thanks, pal. Um, now, if you like the torch, it gets really hot. And I think a torch lasts forever. Just because it's supposed to, I guess. But now this, now this place here is really really cold and so you can just come in here with a torch and you're completely fine ooh so yeah see temperature but since we need to climb the torch is gonna come not very handy so what we're gonna need to do here is pull back out the torch light a torch on fire and then hold Y to light the fire, put B, put it away. And now there are recipes in the game. So, just the spice pepper, when you cook it with a bunch of itself, or into a dish with nothing else that has any effect, it will make this. A cold resistant spicy situated peppers. I'm, I pretty butchered that, but whatever. Um, so now we have core resistance for 12 minutes and 30 seconds. So, yeah. Um, there's a quick way without going through those dead Bacobos. Or, yeah, those dead Bacobos. Um, you just climb. Just remember to watch out for your, ow, for your stamina. Uh, alright. So, oh, I don't even think, yeah, alright, yeah, we, we need to climb for this. Um, because you need to go over there. Because that, that's where it is. Um, so yeah, your torch will come in literally, like, your torch will not come in handy here, because when you climb, you automatically put the fire out. Because you don't want to be burning Link's back. Ooh, almost ran out there. Yeah, if you run out of energy while climbing, Link will let go, and you will fall into a merciless death. If you are very high up. Or you're just low on hearts. Oh, alright, so it's coming daytime again. There's an enemy here. Alright, there's three enemies here. There's a chest here as well. Oh, that guy heard me. Uh-oh. I'm just gonna grab this and go. Awesome. More arrows. Honestly, you want to get a bunch of arrows. Um, on my original account, I actually have 440-something uh, arrows. Just because I use a lot of arrows for a lot of stealth. Um, because stealth comes in handy. Oof. 
Uh oh. Yeah, you also might want to be careful because you can roll in this game and rolling for some reason. Off. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. And rolling for some reason takes away your health. Not going to die again. Just skip these. I believe this is our stasis trial. If you don't know what stasis, well, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna hold off to that one. Just skip the thingy. Yep, stasis trial. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm actually gonna eat. Um, all right, if you don't know what stasis is, um, stasing or stasis is you keep things in a frozen in time. So I'll actually show you that here in a second after this thing that eventually will get very annoying because you just want to skip it, but you can't. Though I like the music for it. Yep. It stores kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is um, is how things move. So you see how it's moving? It has kinetic energy right now, but when you stop it, then the kinetic energy immediately stops and then the stasis um, actually keeps it from moving. So then after that it has potential energy, since it keeps moving, it's gonna keep on going. Oh, careful those boulders, because they will knock you off. It's happened to me a few times. Mostly right here. Whoo, that scares me every time. Dead serious. <laughs> nice, Traveler Shield. Shield surfing! Oh, come on. You can't, you really can't shield surf down there? Ah, hello, trusty sledgehammer. I believe I'm out of, um, yep, I'm out of weapon slots, so I'm gonna take this spear and chuck it. And take the sledgehammer, which is 12. Now, there's a thing here. <clears throat> this comes in a lot. This comes in handy. Um, let's just use my axe for this. Just to, now, when you hit stasis, when you hit things, there's this arrow that pops up, and the more you hit it, the harder it will launch, because of the potential energy you're hitting it. Then, boom! It gets shot off. Let's wait for it to roll past. <laughs> And yep. So that comes in really handy, actually. Uh. Because you have to move things in order, sometimes, in order to complete certain things in the game. Um, I'll show you that way in the future when, when we get to Eventide Island. Um, there's, yeah, there's an island in the game called Eventide Island, and you need it, or else you can't complete it. I rhymed there. I'm a poet. I didn't even know it. I'm dumb. Okay. And sorry if I can't get the camera angle completely correct all the exact time. So like sometimes you see me like move like a few centimeters or a few inches off from the side. Um, just there's really no correct way I'm going to be able to do this. I'll hit it now if you get a red arrow, and BAM! There it goes. It's an asteroid right now. <laughs> Another bow. Okay, so time to go quickly, actually, to that other one. We only have eight minutes left on the thing. Um, oh, whoops. Yep, the stamina bar charges ever so slowly. And it's still ever so annoying. Because screw us, apparently. Ugh. There we go. Alright, so the reason why I went this way is because you have to go around to get to that one over there. If you look close enough, that looks like a face. Like, there's, like, that, like, that's the eye, that's the nose, and, like, there's open mouth. It, it, it looks like a face, okay. I just realized that. <laughs> it's the first time me actually noticing that. Okay. Uh-oh. There's a blue moblin up there. 
Um, Alright, we're gonna just have to run past him, because he's way too hard to kill right now. Actually, I can probably... No, no, I'm, I'm not gonna chance it, because I'll die. Guarantee it. Ah, I forgot. Shields. Oh, it's over there. Ooh. You can back off, boy. You can back off. Back off, boy. Yo, yeah. yeah, that's right. You know, I really don't get why uh, Moblins and other, like, Moblins, Bokoblins, you know, and all those other fancy, uh, fancy enemies can withstand the cold and the heat and stuff. But Link can't. Well, I mean, like, their, yeah, their bodies are built differently. So, that's probably a reason. Huh. Shield Surf! Oh yeah, be careful, because your shield can break. It's probably going to break on me right here. Like, while I'm shield surfing. And since there's rolling, yes, you can get hurt from rolling. See how much... Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Yo, what's good, Moblans? What is good? Um, okay. Throwing a snowball at me. <laughs> okay, before they go and get the, um, the explosive barrels, I'm just gonna run from them. Oh, hey. Oh, okay, so... Here is going to be our... Crynosis... Cry... Crynosis? I always call it cryogenic. Because cryogenic means... Or, well, like, putting you in a cryogenic sleep means freezing your body when you're dead. And waiting years and years in the future for your, the technology to be able to revive you. But yeah, there's a chest, a wooden chest there floating in the water. And here's our... Yep. Cryonis. Cry Cryonis. Cry Cryonis. I'm just going to say Cryonis, trial. Okay. So, uh, Cryonis, what does it do? Guess what? It lets us um, make giant ice pillars, and these actually come in handy a lot, really. Um, they even help me around water. See? Water. Yep. You put it right under there. Lifts up the gate. You can even, you can place, oh. You can place three at a time. I think you can even lift the enemies. Alright, so I know you can block yourself, but you can place three at a time. God dang it. And then you can replace three, and after three, you you can actually break them. Just point the crosshairs. Ow. Ugh. Come on. Come on. Dang it. There's a way to actually deflect the uh, the beams that 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 thing is shooting. Um, it's quite easy actually, except I'm not very good at it. Oh man! Is there a chest over there? Nope. Is there a chest over there? Oh, there's one there. Almost missed it. Uh, Alright, we're rounding in at a roll of ten, uh, it's only a spear. Since this is the second video I have to record, then I have to smash them together. Um, the video is going to cut out in, uh, like, at 15.39, I believe, on the next one. So it would be, like, 30-something. So, 
Well, 31, I think. Because 30 plus 30 equals... One minute. So yeah, it would be 31 for you guys. So, sadly, I think this is all the time we have for for this episode. I wish I could do it longer, but I can't. I gotta smash them together and kind of render out, and it takes forever. And... Um, I do have a lot of patience, um, but I just can't put up with it a lot. I need better uh, software on my computer. Uh, but I don't have internet at home just yet. Uh, I should be get. I hopefully should be getting it soon. Okay. So anyway, this he's just explaining. Um, all right, well, he didn't really explain. But we have to go to back to the Temple of Time. But sadly, this is all the time we have for... And yeah, this guy's a ghost. Um, so in the next episode, you guys will find out who he is. So thank you guys for watching. Goodbye. Oh, all the comrades that air I had, they're sorry for... My God.